To our top story, three Lavendel families are seeking shelter tonight after a landslip damaged their homes in Picton Road during the heavy showers today in North Trinidad, with one house already practically destroyed by the slippage. Two neighboring families fear they too may lose their homes in the next heavy downpour. Peter Christopher reports. When the rains came down shortly after 11 a.m., the residents of Picton Road, Lavantil, were busy preparing lunch and making plans to visit friends for the Diwali holiday. A meal which they never ate, and plans which fell true as the lands along the hill upon which they dwell shifted and came down with the water rushing below its surface. The wall of Marva Thomas's home on 6B Picton Road was taken down the hill along with two of the family's dogs. To stay here and the rain fall and you end up down the hill, you're not knowing, because when you sleep you come like you're dead. I don't, end up, I don't want to end up dead here with my grandchildren and it's just us. While the dogs survived and most of the house remains intact, the crack in the front retaining wall leaves Mrs. Thomas uneasy. She fears more rainfall could further destabilize the structure and bring it crashing down. Hence, their plans to visit friends in Chagornas were cancelled as they feared they would leave home and return to nothing. Everybody ran to the end of the room as fast as possible because nobody didn't want to come down. We had two dogs tied here. Dogs and them end up down the hill. But while Mrs. Thomas and her family can consider staying at their house tonight, Sharon Mohammed and her children, ages three, five, and eight, cannot. Slush occupies what used to be their living room and kitchen, with several appliances now unusable. The upper bedroom of the house, as well as the one below it, was also damaged. Mohammed was unable to estimate the damage and does not know where the family would stay. Landslide, smashing my whole place, everything, almost everything lost. Mm. Fridge, washing machine, stove, TV, DVD, you name it, almost everything has gone. Another resident, upon returning home and seeing the damage, found laughter was the only medicine. <laughs> but the residents are making urgent appeals to the authorities to grant them any assistance they can as they try to piece things back together. Peter Christopher, C News. For the second time in just under a week, the city of Port of Spain was hit by severe flash flooding. The scenes downtown were arguably worse than last week's flood after two hours of midday showers turned South Key and several other city streets into temporary rivers. Uptown Port of Spain was not spared as there was flooding around the Queen's Park, Savannah, St. Clair, Marval, Belmont, Long Circular Road and St. James. At Ethel Street and Mucarapa Road, the floodwaters deposited garbage from a nearby dump as preparations for Diwali were taking place.